Dulls inhabit various types of habitats across their range in Asia. They are primarily found in forested regions, including tropical rainforests, deciduous forests, and mixed forests. Dulls are known to occur in areas such as the Western Ghats and the Eastern Himalayas in India, parts of Southeast Asia, China, and Indonesia. Dulls are currently classified as endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. They face numerous threats, including habitat loss, fragmentation, and human-wildlife conflict. Dulls are also known by several other names. Asiatic Wild Dog, Indian Wild Dog, Red Dog, Whistling Dog, Mountain Wolf and Kuon. While they are mainly associated with forests, dolls can also be found in other habitats such as grasslands, alpine meadows, and even mountainous areas up to high elevations. They are adaptable animals and have been observed in diverse landscapes, including scrublands and swampy areas. Dolls, also known as Asiatic wild dogs, typically have a reddish or rusty coat coloration. Their fur is generally a shade of yellowish-brown or tawny, which can vary in intensity among individuals and populations. Some dolls may exhibit a lighter or darker variation of this coloration, but the overall range tends to fall within the reddish-brown spectrum. Their coat color helps them blend into their forest and grassland habitats, providing camouflage while hunting or moving through the environment. The dole is set apart from other canids in that it has an unusually thick muzzle and one less molar tooth on each side of its lower jaw. Dolls have a compact and muscular build. They have relatively short legs and a long, bushy tail. Dolls are medium-sized canids. Dolls typically measure between 90 to 110 centimeters in length from the head to the base of the tail. They stand at around 50 to 55 centimeters at the shoulder. Dolls generally weigh between 12 to 20 kilograms. Dolls are highly social animals that live in packs. Pack sizes can range from a few individuals to as many as 30 members. They exhibit a complex social structure and cooperative hunting strategies. Dolls are known for their distinctive vocalizations, which include whistles, screams, and various other calls. These vocalizations serve as a means of communication within the pack, helping to coordinate group activities and maintain social bonds. Dolls are carnivorous predators with a varied diet. Dolls primarily feed on medium-sized ungulates, such as deer, wild boar, and smaller species of antelope. They are skilled hunters and often target ungulate species that are abundant in their habitats. Dolls are known for their cooperative hunting strategies, which help them take down larger prey. In addition to ungulates, dolls also prey on smaller mammals. Their diet may include rodents, hares, and other small to medium-sized mammals found in their range. Dolls have a diverse palate and are opportunistic hunters, taking advantage of available prey. Dolls occasionally hunt and consume birds. They can capture ground-dwelling birds and may also scavenge on bird carcasses when the opportunity arises. While less common, dolls have been known to prey on reptiles and amphibians. They may target species such as snakes, lizards, and frogs if they encounter them in their habitat. Dolls are adaptable and opportunistic feeders, and they may supplement their diet with insects, including large beetles and grasshoppers. They can also scavenge on carrion, 
feeding on the remains of animals that have been killed by other predators or have died naturally. Dolls are known for their impressive speed and agility. Dolls are highly agile and maneuverable, allowing them to navigate through dense forests and challenging terrain with ease. Their slender build, strong limbs, and flexible bodies enable them to change direction quickly, making them efficient hunters. Dolls are skilled pursuit predators that rely on their speed and endurance to chase down their prey. They are capable of maintaining a fast pace over long distances during a hunt. By working together in coordinated efforts, dolls can exhaust and outlast their prey. Dolls are apex predators in their ecosystems, which means they generally have few natural predators. However, there are some larger predators that can potentially pose a threat to dolls under certain circumstances. In areas where dolls and tigers coexist, tigers are the dominant predators and may compete with dolls for prey. Leopards are also known to be potential predators of dolls, although interactions between the two species are relatively rare. In regions where dolls inhabit areas with water bodies containing crocodiles, there is a possibility of predation by crocodiles, particularly on dolls that venture too close to the water or during river crossings. Although uncommon, large birds of prey such as eagles and owls have been reported to attack and prey upon dolls, particularly young or vulnerable individuals. Dolls have a breeding pattern characterized by a specific breeding season and cooperative care of the young. Dolls typically have a defined breeding season, which varies across their range. In general, the breeding season for dolls occurs during the monsoon season or in the cooler months of the year when prey availability is higher. Breeding seasons can vary geographically, with some populations having more flexible breeding patterns. Dolls form monogamous pair bonds, with a dominant breeding male and female within the pack. These dominant individuals have priority access to breeding and are the primary contributors to the next generation of pups. The gestation period for dolls is approximately two to three months. After the gestation period, the female gives birth to a litter of pups. The average litter size is typically around 4 to 6 pups, although litter sizes can range from 1 to 12. The female usually selects a den in a secluded location to give birth and raise her pups. Dolls exhibit cooperative care of their young, with other members of the pack assisting in rearing and protecting the pups. Both the dominant breeding pair and other pack members contribute to feeding, grooming, and protecting the pups. This cooperative care helps to ensure the survival and development of the young dolls. As the pups grow older, they eventually disperse from their natal pack. This dispersal typically occurs when they reach sexual maturity, usually around 1 to 2 years of age. Dispersal helps prevent inbreeding within the pack and allows young dolls to find and establish their own territories and breeding opportunities. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for even more viewing pleasure. Don't forget, like and comment. Feel free to share.